or, um, you know, in the case where child abuse is fatal, it, it, obviously it's not good for the child, but it's actually a benefit to society because there aren't needed for government services and whatnot over the whole course of that child's life. Through the chair, can you say that again? To say a benefit for society? Um, talking dollars. Now you've got yes. a, a $1.5 million price tag here for uh, victims of fatal child abuse. Um, it, it gets argued periodically that it's actually um, a cost savings because that child is not going to need any of those government services that uh, they might otherwise um, you know, be entitled to receive and, and need based on you know, growing up in this type of environment. Through the chair, uh, Representative, I guess that would be the idea, if I can use a really bad analogy, when you hit somebody, you always back up because uh, it's cheaper to insurance. I don't pertain to that, and I'm really, uh, I'm not even sure how to answer that, that there's a cost saving to, uh, to the death of a child. The impact that that has on a family and us as a society when a child is lost, especially to child abuse and neglect, is unmeasurable. Uh, and it's uh, it's hugely tragic. And follow up. Follow up. And uh, the way that you're calculating this 1.5 million, I don't want to say you, I mean the, the people who did calculate it, um, does that 1.5 million get higher or lower um, depending upon the age at which the child uh, is killed? So uh, again, there's multiple factors and uh, a number can definitely increase, but again, I don't believe it's going to matter if they're older or younger. Again, a loss of a child is really unmeasurable.